After going on their seven game losing streak, the Miami Heat have now won four out of their last five games, which includes back to back wins at home against the Orlando Magic and San Antonio Spurs in succeeding days. The win against the Spurs, 116 to 104, was what you'd expect from a Miami Heat game this season. They let the Spurs hang around, hang around. The Spurs looked like they might actually upset the Heat. And given the Spurs record, yeah. Actually, it wouldn't have been surprising given how Miami also plays. But the Heat got the job done because Jimmy Buckets came to the rescue to start the fourth period. He finished with 17 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists, and 3 steals. It was the 16th career triple-double of Jimmy's career and 12th in a Miami Heat uniform. He now leads the franchise in triple-doubles. And given who have played for the Miami Heat over the years, LeBron, Wade, Bosch, I can go on and on. Quite an impressive feat for Jimmy. Tyler Hero is great also, 24 points, hit a few three-pointers that helped seal the game for Miami. Bama Debayo, most of the time he defended Victor Wembanyama, which is not an easy task because Wemby is, I don't know, out of this world big, but still good job by Bam. Terry Rozier, well, what was scary about him today was his shooting percentage, but he did his job playing point guard position and Anything spared than Kyle Lowry, I guess, at this point, right? Uh, but still, another good win for the Heat, given the recent losses. And Jimmy Butler, by the way, I should also add, 10 straight games with a made three-pointer now. And no one seems to be happier than for himself than Jimmy. And are you even surprised? Shut up! You definitely get slapped on my way out. <laughs> Anyway, the vibes seem back in the Miami Heat locker room. They seem to be in a happy mood again. Let's see how long it lasts because upcoming in their schedule is a game against the Boston Celtics. The Celtics, of course, have beaten the Heat already twice this season. So can the Heat get a victory against Boston? That's not in the playoffs because we know when it comes to the playoffs, the Miami Heat usually beats Boston. Um, we shall find out.